Hello, uh, it's time to open the mail. Ooh, look at all the mail. Okay. So it's been a little while since I've done one of these, so if I'm a little rusty, you'll understand why. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, some of these are things that I bought. So, um, here's a signed Jack Cuss card. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can bring it a little closer. There you go. It's, um, from the Goody Graphs uh, Upper Deck 2008 series. And I kind of picked this up really cheap, so that's why I got it. Next, what else we have? Oh, this is also something else that I purchased. Um, I don't know how many of you uh, have been uh, uh, exposed to the Brygent um, uh, classic horror film sci-fi and horror movie posters, uh, sketch art cards. Uh, this one is from uh, Bob Stevlick. I don't know if you can see that, uh, with his little autograph on the back. But um, it's kind of fun. This is actually a really uh, cool one uh, for Son of Frankenstein. Uh, it's got a great uh, Karloff as the monster on there. Um, and did a really good job, I think, of, of making this poster reminiscent of what uh, the original looked like. Anyway, yeah, it's a piece of original art. It's just really cool. Kind of hard there without the, the glare. All right, this next one. Um, we're in a kind of a bigger envelope. And it is... Oh, uh, yeah. Somebody on... Um, Star Tiger was talking about some dealers in New York that they really liked. So I went and actually looked at some of their information and bought this picture. Uh, it's uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman as uh, Truman Capote uh, in his Oscar winning role. Phil is a little difficult to grab sometimes. So um, they've got a, it's from GM Authentic Autos, uh, signed by Mark Widlitz. But the uh, thing I like about them is that it talks about when they uh, got this signed. This particular picture was signed uh, after he appeared on the NBRMP Awards at Tavern on the Green in New York. So this has been a while uh, since this was, since Tavern on the Green is closed. Um, but anyway, um, I think it's authentic. I think it was, uh, like I said, many of their things look really good. I kind of think that maybe at some point when I was in New York, I might have run across these guys. Um, some of the events that they had things for uh, seem pretty, uh, pretty much uh, 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 like things that I got in different times. All right, um, Ernst Borgnine. Oh, this is kind of sad. I sent these two cards a long time ago. Uh, you can see they're not signed. And there's this little thing saying, uh, thanks for sending your autograph request to Mr. Borgnine. He no longer signs out of his office. May on occasion make personal appearances. Signing at limited number of autograph shows. It's been a great deal to him to know how much you've supported him through the years. He's wonderful fans. He appreciates each and every one of you. I actually kind of thought these were lost because I sent them out like a long time ago. These are like mini lobby cards that came um, in one version of... Um, the Poseidon Adventure. And as you can see, Ernie is featured on both of them, so I was hoping that he'd sign them. But, you know, I had read that he'd stopped signing through the mail. I just assumed these were lost. I think I probably sent them more than a year ago. So anyway, that's it. Talk to you soon. Bye.